Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to address a question that I see all the time on Facebook. I see it all the time in um, like buyers groups and I have the question asked of me all the time. I hear the question, I want to buy a house, how do I start? So the first thing you need to do is take a look at your timeline. If you are like ready to buy next month, you might need a little bit more time. But if you have a couple months out that you um, want to get started, the best thing you can do is start by getting your credit reports from three different bureaus and see if there's anything that is incorrect on them. If there is, you can challenge it and I can help you with that if you need it. Um, the other thing you need to do is look at if there's anything in collections that you can pay off or negotiate to pay off. Um, but you need to make sure that they that you pay it off and that they remove it, not just get it paid off, because then it will take a while for it to get off. Um, all of those steps I can help you with, but after the credit report, you're gonna move into a pre-approval. So if you have ever heard of a mortgage broker, they're not the bank, but a mortgage broker knows several lenders that they can look at your credit, look at your income, look at what kind of program you're gonna go with for your lending, and they can match you with the best lender. So going to one person benefits you because they can help you with multiple lenders. Instead of just going straight to your bank, if you go to your bank immediately, they're just gonna do whatever is best for what they can provide. But if you have multiple lenders, then you're gonna be able to choose, pick and choose what works best for you. And the mortgage broker can definitely help you with that. After you have your pre-approval letter, that's when you can come to me or your real estate agent and start looking at houses. You can't look at houses right away because what if you start looking at houses that are in the $300,000 range and you only get approved for like 250? You don't wanna get your heart set. I know I fall in love with houses all the time, but you don't wanna get your heart set on a house that's up here and your hopes are up here and you're super excited about the house and you find out afterwards that you're not even able to make that much, to be able to afford that much. The other thing is right now, because it's the seller's market, houses are selling really quickly. So if you're not pre-approved, you're basically not ready to buy anything yet. So if you have the pre-approval letter, your real estate agent knows that you're ready to rumble. You're ready to buy the house. You're not just playing around. Um, you are actually serious and you're ready to go. So that's how you start out. After that, um, you'll pick out what house you wanna buy, you'll submit an offer, and there's a whole bunch more steps that you go through. But I'd want to let you know how to get started. First step is your credit report. Second step is the pre-approval. And then you can start looking at houses. I have, a pre, I have a buyer's guide that I can send you for free. If you want to email me at texasagentamber. Dot, sorry, texasagentamber at gmail.com. I'm going to take you, give you a little peek. I have it on my phone. Um, it has my information. Um, it has a house touring list, um, but it really lets, helps you go through preparing to buy. That's when you need to go through your credit report. So this is a really um, good step-by-step -step informational guide. If you want that, I can send it to you for free. Just email me at texasagentamber at gmail.com and you don't have to go with me if you ask for this. Um, I just want to provide it to help for knowledge in case you need it. So if you have any questions, you can email me, you can comment down below. Um, yeah, I hope that answered your question on where to start when you're ready to start buying your own home.